Elias and Chise are back as a second season for the ancient Magus Pride has been confirmed. The release date is scheduled for April 2023 with a new preview trailer revealed alongside it. Studio Kafka will be animating the series with Kazuaki Tarasawa as the director and you can check out the rest of the cast in the description. The story follows Chise Hattori who has lived a life filled with nothing but abuse and neglect. However, her life changes when she is sold to a masked figure who can wield strange powers. He is known as a magus, a sorcerer with extraordinary powers. Because of him, Chise is released from her bonds and learns she is a slave beggy and will become not only his apprentice but also his bride. Season 1 ended with the final conflict with Chise putting Cartophilus the immortal to rest but with the puppeteer Ashen Eye still lurking in the shadows. The current Chise has lost her human arm and is instead cursed with the black arm which occurred while helping the rampaging dragon. The curse reduced her lifespan to just a few months but she is soon also cursed with Cartophilus's curse of living forever which was given to Chise through his eye. Now the dragon's curse and Cartophilus's curse cancel each other out so she gets to live her normal human lifespan. Season 2 will continue with the anime adopting the college arc of the manga where Chise attends college, a society of alchemists, as an auditing student. Ancient Magus Bride is an enemy I like and one I don't. Visually, Magus's Bride is beautiful. Props to which studio for their work, but when it comes to the characters, I'm not so sure. At first, I didn't think much about it and let the plot along with its music and animation carry me to the end of season 1 but now when I think about it, I feel that the characters weren't brought to their full potential. Elias's character was interesting at first which then began to degrade into something bland and annoying at times with really nothing to show for except for some of his interactions with Chise whom on the other hand was a much more well developed character but doesn't really cross the generic boundary. The world building felt lacking and the main characters felt one dimensional. Overall, Ancient Magus' Bride is not a bad anime and is one I definitely recommend you to watch, especially since we are getting a new season. But at the same time, it could have turned out much much better. Thank you.